today I am going to discuss assignment problems. An assignment problem is a special case of transportation problem. The transportation problem reduces to the assignment problem if we have the following condition. The first condition is the number of sources equal to number of destinations that m equal to m. And next condition is that the availability at each source and requirement at each destination equal to 1. That is AI equal to VI equal to 1. This is our assignment model. Say A1, A2, A3, A4 are 4 sources and M1, M2, M3, M4 are 4 destinations. Say A1, A2, A3, A4 represents the uh, person A1 person A2, person A3, person A4 and M1, M2, M3, M4 represents the machines M1 machine, M2 machine, M3 machine, M4 machine as one person is assigned to only one machine therefore availability for this person is 1 similarly for other as this person is assigned to only one machine therefore availability here is 1 and similarly availability corresponding to A3 is 1, availability corresponding to A4 is 1 and as one, job, uh, one person is assigned to one machine that means one machine is available for one person therefore requirement for machine M1 is 1, requirement for machine M2 is 1, requirement for machine M3 is 1, requirement for machine M4 is 1. C11, C12, 13, C21, C22, 24. In combined, CIJ represents the cost which we have to pay for person A1 to do job on machine M1. And X11, X12, X13, X14, XII represents the decision variable. Now, out of X11, X12, X13, X14, the, the value of any one of them is 1 and other takes value 0. The like, if we allocate here, then value of x13 is 1 and value of x14, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1 is 0 because here availability is 1. In, uh, that's why we, uh, we say that the value of xii is 0 or 1 only. That means xi and i can take only two values either 0 or 1. The LPP formulation of the assignment problem is this. This is same as the formulation of transportation problem but we have applied these conditions. Number 1 we take number of sources is equal to number of destinations that is m equal to n. Second, the availability at each source and requirement at each destination equal to 1 that is ai vi equal to 1. By, uh, after applying these two conditions, we get the value of xii is either 0 or 1. This is the same model as I have discussed in my first video of transportation problems here we take summation i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to n this is the same as i discussed in uh, uh, first video of transportation problem now i am going to discuss how to solve assignment programming problem to solve assignment programming problem we have the following method hungarian method I explain the working of Hungarian method with the following example. Consider the following assignment problem as A, B, C, D are 5 persons, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5 are 5 machines. We have to assign e each person to one machine. This 5, 5, 7, 4, 8, these numbers represent the cost of assignment. Now, to solve assignment problem, our first step is we have to form, we have to do row reduction. How we do row reduction? For this, 
subtract the lowest entry of a row from the remaining entries of this row. Do this for each row. Like this, first you uh, our first row is this 5, 5, 7, 4, 8. You select the lowest entry of this row. The lowest entry of this row is 4. Now subtract this 4 from, uh, from the remaining entries. Like 5 minus 4 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. 8 minus 4 is 4. After that, do this for each row. The lowest entry of this row is, the lowest entry of second row is 3. Subtract this 3 from the remaining entries. Then it becomes 6 minus 3, 3. 5 minus 3, 2. 8 minus 3, 5. 3 minus 3, 0. 7 minus 3, 4. Then the lowest entry of third row is 5. Subtract this 5 from the remaining entries of this row. That is 6 minus 5 is 1. 8 minus 5 is 3. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0. 10 minus 5 is 5. Then the lowest entry of 4th row is 3. Subtract this entry from the remaining entries of this row. That is 7 minus 3 is 4. 6 minus 3 is 3, 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, 6 minus 3 is 3. The lowest entry of 5th row is 6. Subtract this 6 from the remaining entries of this row. That is 6 minus 6, 0, 6, 7 minus 6, 1, 10 minus 6, 4, 6 minus 6, 0, 11 minus 6, 5. Now this become our row reduced matrix. This is the first step. This is our row reduced matrix. Now second step is to, to form column reduced matrix. The procedure is same as in row reduced matrix. Subtract the lowest entry of a column from the remaining entries of this column. Do this for each column. Subtract the lowest entry of a column from the remaining entries of this column. Do this for each column. Like for column 1, the lowest entry in column 1 is 0. Subtract this 0 from each entry. Then it becomes 1 minus 0, 1. 3 minus 0, 3. 1 minus 0, 1. 4 minus 0, 4. 0 minus 0, 0. The lowest entry of second column is 1. Subtract this entry from the remaining entries of second column. 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 3 minus 1, 2. 1 minus 1, 0. The lowest entry of third column is 3. Subtract this lowest entry from remaining entries of third column. That is 3 minus 3, 0, 5 minus 3, 2, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 3, 1, 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 3, 1. The lowest entry of fourth column is 0. Subtract this entry from the remaining entries of this column. This becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 as the lowest entry is 0. Now, the lowest, can, lowest entry of 5th column is 3. Subtract this 3 from the remaining entries of this column. Then it becomes 4 minus 3, 1. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 3, 2. 3 minus 3, 0. 5 minus 3, 2. Now the third step is to make assignments. To make assignments, you have to copy the same, the same table as we get after the column reduction. This is the same table after the column reduction that is after step second. To make assignment we have to follow the procedure. For the assignment choose row having only one zero and box this zero and cross all other zeros of the column and row 
in which this box to zero lies. Next examine other rows containing single zero and do the same job. If there are more than one zero in any row, then leave it for the time being. Now repeat the same procedure for columns. Repeat this process till all the zeros are either boxed or crossed. Like this, here in the, first we choose that row in which only one zero lies. Here in this row, there are three zeros. Here in this row, there are one zero. Therefore, we boxed this zero. And after box this zero, you have to cross all other zeros in, in, in that row and column in which this box zero lies. Like this, this box zero lie in this column. Cross all other zero in this column. Like this. And this box zero lies in this row. Crossed all zeros which lie in the, in the same row. Here no zero. Therefore this is done. Now we will repeat the process till all the zeros are either boxed or crossed. Here in this row two zeros. Here assignment is made. Here in this row no zero. Here in this row. Now in this row is two zeros. Here in this row two zeros. We have to look for that row in which single zero is lying. Now there is no row in which single zero lies. Now we will look column wise. In first column, this is first column in which single zero lies. Now we will box this zero and cross all other zeros in row and column in which this boxed zero lies. This box zero lies in this column. There is no other row. Uh, there is no other zero. This box zero lies in this row. There is one zero. We cross this one zero. Now we will repeat the same process. Here in this row two zeros. Here assignment is made. Here no zero. Here two zeros. Here no zero. Then as we have not any row in which single zero lies, we will repeat the process with by column wise. In this column assignment is made. In this column only single zero. We will box this zero and cross all other zeros in row and column in which this box zero lies. This box zero corresponding to this box zero. This box zero lies in this column and in this column no zero is left and this box zero lies in this row and in this row one zero is left cross this one zero. Now we will repeat the same process here no zero here no zero here no zero here two zeros are lies in this row here no zero as there is no single row in which single zero lies therefore we will look column wise here in this column no zero in this column no zero in this column only one zero box this single zero and cross all other zeros in this column and in this row. In this column no zero is left. In this row this zero is left. Cross this zero. Now if we get one assignment we will represent this. We will say this assignment. Now if there is assignment in each row then we get the optimal table and the optimality is reached. Now in this row there is one assignment. In this row there is one assignment. But in this row there is no assignment. Therefore this is not optimal table and optimality is not reached. If we get assignment in each row if we get assignment in each row then the table is optimal table and the optimality is reached. Now we will look whether this table is optimal table or not. Here in this row assignment is here. In this row assignment is here. But in this row 
assignment is not made therefore this is not optimal table and we have to proceed further next step is to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines aim behind this is to cover all the zeros we have to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines so that all the zeros are covered this can be done in by the two procedure you can choose any one of them i will discuss both the procedure one by one the first procedure is this can be done by first covering zeros in that row or column which has maximum number of zeros this can be done by first covering zeros in that row or column which has maximum number of zeros if there existed tie break it arbitrarily and further search the rows or column having next lower to highest number of zeros in some column or row and continue this process till all zeros are covered like in our case we will first search for that row or column in which maximum number of zeros lies here in this row three zeros in this one zero in this one zero in this three zero in this three zero in column one zero two zero two zero five zero this is the column with five zeros first we will draw line vertical or horizontal line here because this is column therefore we draw horizontal line like this this is the column in which maximum number of zeros lies after that we will again search here two zeros no zero no zero here One two zero two zero. Here, in all the three rows, we have two zero. Now this is the case of tie. If there exists a tie, break it arbitrarily. That that draw vertical or horizontal line arbitrarily. Like this, we will draw a horizontal line. in this case now again we will search for maximum number of uh, for search for a row or column in which maximum number of zeros lies here no zero no zero here two zeros here two zeros now we have two rows in which two two zeros lies this is again a case of tie we will break it arbitrarily we will draw a horizontal line in fourth row now one row is there in which two zeros lie we will again draw a horizontal line now after drawing these four lines horizontal and vertical lines all the zeros are covered therefore we will draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines in this way one thing is important here that the number of vertical and horizontal lines is minimum i will draw horizontal and vertical lines like this 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 and this then this becomes five number of horizontal and vertical lines but by the procedure by following this procedure that we have to look for a row column in which maximum number of zeros lies we will get four lines which is minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines so that all zeros are covered now i will discuss the second way to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines we have two procedure one procedure i have earlier discussed the second procedure is as mark all the rows for which assignments have not been made we go step by step mark all rows for which assignments have not been made that means we have to select that rows in which assignment is not made like this here in this row assignment is there here in this row assignment is there 
here in this row there is no assignment therefore we mark this row and next in this row assignment is also there in this row assignment is also there first we have to mark all rows in our case there is only one row where assignment is not made mark all rows for which assignments have not been made we in this row assignment is not made therefore we mark this row after that second step is mark all columns not already marked which have closed zeros in the marked rows the important is marked rows we have marked this row we have to check this row we have to mark that column in which we have closed zero we have this marked row we check this row here crossed zero is here at this place we have marked column corresponding to this zero then this column we have marked mark all columns not already marked which have closed zeros in the marked rows that means we look for marked row then we look where cross zero lies in this marked row cross zero lies here and therefore we mark this column now the third step is mark all the rows not already marked which have assigned zeros in the marked columns the important is mark the column this is our mark the column now we look in this mark the column where assigned zeros lie in this mark the column assigned zero lies here therefore we will mark this row mark all rows not already marked which have assigned zeros in the mark the column this is our mark the column and we look for this column assigned zero lies here in this row therefore we mark this row now the fourth step is repeat second and third process till the chain of marking ends we have to repeat this procedure till there is uh, till the chain ends and the fifth is draw lines through all the unmarked rows and mark the column this will give minimum number of horizontal and vertical now first we will mark this here cross zero lies there we mark this column in this column here assigned zero like this therefore we mark this row now we have to draw lines through all the unmarked rows our unmarked rows are this this is our unmarked row this is our unmarked row this is our unmarked row and mark the column this is our mark the column there therefore this is the second procedure to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines you can follow any procedure from these two procedure but my preference is that you follow the second procedure in which marking is done now next step is to obtain modified table modify to obtain modified table we have the following procedure number 1 choose the smallest element from all uncovered elements from uncovered elements we mean that elements on which no line is passing that is in our case uncovered elements are this 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 these are our uncovered elements choose the smallest element from all uncovered elements in our case the smallest element is 1 smallest element from all from all uncovered elements is 1 second is subtract this element from all the uncovered elements 3 minus 1 2 2 minus 1 0 2 sorry 1 minus 1 0 
टू माइनस वन 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 माइनस वन जीरो वन माइनस वन जीरो टू माइनस वन 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 माइनस वन जीरो टू माइनस वन वन दर्ड इज एट दिस एलिमेंट टू ऑल एलिमेंट विच लाइज ऑन द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू लाइन्स द लाइन्स विच वी हैव ड्रा इन द प्रीवियस स्टेप एट दिस एलिमेंट टू ऑल द एलिमेंट विच लाइज ऑन द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू लाइन्स लाइक दिस एलिमेंट दिस एलिमेंट lies on the intersection of two element uh, two lines therefore we add this element to this element 0 plus 1 is 1 next element is this this lies at the intersection of two lines therefore we add this element to this element 0 plus 1 1 and again this element lies on uh, lies on the intersection of two lines therefore we add this element to this element therefore zero plus one is one now the fourth step is leave all other elements as such like this is one zero zero one zero zero four two zero 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 one two therefore this is our modified table now we will check whether this table is optimal table or not now to check this modified table is optimal table or not we repeat the process now we make assignments in this table to make assignments we first look that row in which single zeros lies here in this row two zeros three zeros three zeros two zeros two zeros no row in which single zero lies then we look column wise two zeros three zeros three zeros two zeros two zeros therefore there is no single row or no single column in which single zero lies that this is the case of alternative optimal solution this is the case of alternative optimal solution alternative optimal solution we will later on discuss about this now you have to make assignment in this table now as we have no row or no column in which single zero lies arbitrarily assign any zero arbitrarily assign any zero like i assign this zero now follow the procedure cross all the zeros in this column in this column and in this row here in this column this zero we cross this zero then this zero we cross this zero and in this row this zero we cross this zero now we will follow the same procedure here two zeros three zeros two zero single zero therefore we box this single zero and we cross all other zeros in this column and in this row in this row there is no zero in this column this zero we cross this zero now we will again look here two zeros two zeros two zeros as there is no row in which single zero lies now we will look column wise here no zero no zero two zeros two zeros two zeros i again again there is no row or no column in which single zeros lies this is the case of alternative optimal solution repeat same process arbitrarily assign any zero out of this six zero arbitrarily assign any zero like i assign this zero now follow the same procedure after assigning this zero cross all other zeros in this column and in this row in this row here is zero we cross this zero in this column this zero we cross this zero again repeat the process here no zero no zero only single zero we will box this single zero and cross all other zeros in this column and in this row in this row no zero in this column here zero we will cross this zero again repeat the process no zero here no zero here no zero here only single zero 
we will box this single zero. All zeros are either crossed or boxed. Therefore, now we will check for optimality. For optimality, the procedure is that we will get one assignment in each row. In this row, assignment is there. 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 As we get, as we get assignment in each row, therefore optimality is declared. As we get assignment in each row, therefore optimality is declared. And hence this is our optimal table. If if again there is some row in which zero is not assigned or this is not optimal table, then repeat the procedure as discussed in this example. Then after this you have to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines and then you have to again obtain modified table, again check whether table is optimal or not. Repeat this procedure till you get the optimal table or optimality is reached. As this is our optimal table, optimality reached, therefore optimal solution is A assigns on machine M2, B assigns on machine M4, C assigns on machine M3, D assigns on machine M5, E assigns on machine M1. And the cost you will take from first yeah, original table that is A to M2 is 5, B to M4 is 3, C to M3 is 9, D to M5 is 6, C to M1 is 6. After calculations, we will get the optimal solution that is 29. As I have already discussed that alternative optimal solution is there. Why so? Because we can't find a row or a column with single zero. Now, in previous solution, we will arbitrarily assign here at this zero. Now, to find alternative optimal solution, we will arbitrarily assign instead of this zero, here in this zero. Now, we will follow the same procedure. To make assignment, we will cross all zeros in this column and in this row. In this column, zeros cross this zero, cross this zero, and in this row, cross this zero. Now, we will look we will repeat the process here three zeros two zeros one zero now we will box this zero and close our other zeros in this column and in this row in this row there is no zero in this column zero is here cross this zero repeat the process here two zeros two zeros two zeros column wise two zeros two zeros two zeros i earlier said that this is alternative optimal solution case. Now you assign any one of the zero. In the previous case, now you assign any zero like we assign here at this zero. After assigning this zero, follow the same process. Say you have to cross all zeros in this column and in this row. Here in this column, this zero, we will cross this zero. And here in this row, we will cross this zero. Again check two zeros. Here no zero, no zero, single zero. Box this zero. And then cross all other zeros in this row and in this column. Cross this zero. After that only one zero. Assign this zero. This as we get assignment in each row. Therefore this is optimal table and the optimal solution is reached. The alternative optimal solution is A to M3, B to M4, C to M1, D to M5, E to M2. This is our alternative optimal solution. A to M3 is 7, B to M4 is 3, C to M1 is 6. D to M5 is 6, 
e to m two is seven. This become twenty nine. After calculation, we will get twenty nine, and this is our alternative optimal solution. As same, first in optimal solution we assign a to m two. In alternative optimal optimal solution we will assign a to m three. That is the set of allocation is different, but the optimal value of objective function is same. That is twenty nine. Therefore, this is. how we calculate the alternative optimal solution now i am going to discuss special cases in assignment problem the first case is unbalanced assignment problem before applying hungarian method or to solve assignment problem first you have to check whether your problem is balanced or unbalanced for unbalanced ass assignment problem if number of rows not equal to number of columns then assignment problem is unbalanced otherwise it is balanced to make unbalanced assignment problem to balanced assignment problem add dummy row or dummy column according to requirement the cost of this dummy row or column is zero like consider this example here a b c d are four persons and m1 m2 m3 are three machines now as there are four rows and three columns therefore this is unbalanced assignment problem to make this balanced assignment problem add a dummy column as number of columns is less add a dummy column or dummy machine m4 and cost of this dummy column is 0 0 0 0 now this becomes balanced one and you can proceed to find its optimal solution by hungarian method and if this is the case here a and b two persons but machines are three m1 m2 m3 the number of rows are two and the number of columns are three as number of rows not equal to number of columns again the assignment problem is unbalanced to make it balanced add a dummy row as the number of rows are less than number of columns add a dummy person c and the cost for this dummy person is 0 0 0 now this assignment problem balanced one and you can find optimal solution with the help of hungarian method the second case is assignment problem as maximization case to deal with assignment problem as maximization case we proceed in a similar manner as i have discussed in fourth video of transportation problems here uh, in that video i have discussed transportation problem as maximization case in similar manner we deal with assignment problem as maximization case consider this assignment problem as maximization case to deal with assignment problem as maximization case first you have to convert assignment problem a maximization case to minimization case and then you can apply hungarian method to convert maximization problem into minimization problem we have two procedure i discuss procedure one by one you can follow any one of the procedure Uh, the first procedure is multiply each cost coefficient with minus one. To convert this maximization case to minimization case, multiply each coefficient with minus one. This becomes minus three, minus two, minus seven, minus one, minus four, minus nine, minus six, minus eight, minus five. Now this is assignment problem as minimization case. you can apply hungarian method on this minimization case remember one thing to multiply with minus 1 at the last with the objective function value you got objective function value in the last then remember to multiply that objective function value with minus 1 the second procedure is choose the largest value from this matrix as last value is 9 subtract all other cost coefficient from this largest cost coefficient that is 9 minus 3 6 9 minus 2 7 9 minus 7 2 
9 minus 1 8, 9 minus 4 5, 9, mi 9 minus 9 0, 9 minus 6 3, 9 minus 8 1, 9 minus 5 4. Now this is the assignment problem as minimization case. Treat it, solve it with the help of Hungarian method. At the last, remember one thing that you have to multiply, uh, sorry, you have to add cost from the original table. That is from that table in which maximization problem is given and you find the optimal value of the assignment problem. The third case is assignment problem prohibited cases. Consider this example, here three persons A, B, C and three machines M1, M2, M3 and this is the cost. Here corresponding to B and machine M3 cost is blank. Like sometimes it can be asked that assignment from B to M3 is not possible. To deal with such cases you have to assign and fill T in that cell and proceed in the similar manner apply Hungarian method to solve this problem remember one thing that whatever you add in infinity the answer is infinity whatever you subtract from infinity answer is infinity now after assigning infinity apply Hungarian method to find the optimal solution of this assignment problem some important remarks are before solving assignment problem, check number one whether the problem is balanced or unbalanced. If it is unbalanced, then first convert it into balanced assignment problem. Number two, check whether the problem is, is of minimization or not. If it is of maximization, then first convert into minimization case, then apply Hungarian method. The second is to convert maximization problem to minimization problem. Use the procedure in which all cost coefficients are subtracted from largest cost coefficient as in this case chances of error is least. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to channel and press the bell icon button from the bell icon button and press the bell icon button from the bell icon button from the bell icon button. Thank you friends.